Healthy Gifts and Homemade Gifts with dietitian Diana Steele. Merry Christmas, by the way. Merry Christmas nice to you. Nice to see you. So we're going to look at some gift ideas in a, uh, gift ideas from stores that you can purchase in just a sec, but homemade gifts are really nice too. Especially when they're healthy. I did used to make almond roca, which was not did the you? healthiest thing. Oh yeah, as a mm. gift for teachers and they all love it, but it's hard to stop when it's so delicious. Caramel chocolate. So granola is one of those things where you can have it for healthy snacks um, mm -hmm. and the kids can take it to lunches and it's really easy to make. And when you put it in a nice little jar, it looks really pretty mm. and you can give that as a gift. So I thought I would show you my granola recipe, which actually is my mom's granola recipe really? from way, way so back. you actually do make this? Oh, all the time, yeah, for okay. sure. So there is five cups of oats in there, and this is one cup of skim milk powder. Okay. And that just adds some extra protein and calcium to it, so making it a little bit like more healthy. Is it just like typical rolled oats? Yeah, quick rolled oats, Quaker okay. roll, rolled oats. Oh, am I supposed to be mixing? Yeah, sure, yeah, okay. exactly. And then sunflower oh, seeds powder. are a great addition, and they can be roasted um, at the beginning. I also add my um, almonds at the beginning because they need a little bit longer to roast. And did you know that when you roast almonds, the mm -hmm. zinc and iron become more available? Oh, okay. Yeah. Plus, and I think they're more better. tasty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. But I won't add the um, dried fruit or the coconut at this point because it will burn. burn them. Okay. Yeah. And then this is oat bran. You could do wheat germ as well, and that was one cup, and that's just going to give you some extra fiber, especially soluble fiber, which helps to lower cholesterol. Okay. And of course, flax seeds, which are also very good. The lignans in there for cancer prevention. And then I've got half a cup of brown sugar, and I know you can use less if you want to, so you can change the recipe however you want. Okay, and, and we will have that recipe on our website. Yes, right? you have that. And then this is a mixture of vegetable oil and honey, uh, two-thirds of a cup each, and I've just warmed it up because it makes it a lot easier to stir in. So vegetable, that's the, that's the trick, hey, vegetable oil yeah. with honey. Okay. And then we're going to mix that until it's all fully combined. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put it onto a cookie sheet like this. Yeah. And roast it in the oven at 350 degrees, or sorry, 275 okay. for about 15 minutes. And mm -hmm. then take it out and stir it. Okay. And then put it back in nice and flat again for another 15 minutes. So we've done 30 minutes in the oven and then it's starting to get a little bit brown. That's when we'll add in the dried fruit and the coconut. And if you have any other nuts like um, walnuts or pecans, then you mm -hmm. could add those because they cook a lot faster. Okay. Bake it again for another 10 minutes and it's ready to go. And there you go. You and you can put it jars. in a jar. Yeah, another great gift idea is trail mix. And you can make a little label if you want or you can just um, have a little name on it. And I've got walnuts and mm -hmm. um, raisins and blueberries, banana chips, and banana chips mm -hmm. dried cherries, um, roasted apricots, and of course almonds. And almonds, you know, the gift of health. <laughs> so these are roasted with olive oil and salt. And almonds are so good for you. 23 almonds only has 160 calories. Okay. You're going to say something? No, so you just like just dress it with some olive oil and just a little bit of sea salt and then put it on a cookie okay. sheet for about 10 mm -hmm. minutes at 350 and they're ready to go. And such a great snack. Mm -hmm. And then they also have, in 23 almonds, there's 75 milligrams of calcium, 4 grams of fiber. So you're getting fiber, you're getting protein, you're getting your calcium. It's guilt-free snacking. Exactly. And it's going to help you stay full and satisfied while you're out Christmas shopping. So okay. You pop them in your... So purse. for those of us who are not, uh, you know, that adept with our... With you don't want to cook, maybe you want to buy something that's right. healthy. Okay. Uh, so you could do um, a garlic press oh, or you could do right. um, a lemon oh, squeezer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's supposed to come out. Okay. Or you can do my favorite new tool, which oh, is the this. vegetable spiralizer. And it actually makes little spirals of your zucchini. So you okay. do it like... So um, do it in here? No, put like it in this one? one, it'll fit better. Hold it really like tight. This? Yeah, because you're going to twist it like a pencil sharpener. You got to put some good pressure in there. It's beautiful. See, you're doing a great job. So I think that's just a really fun uh, sort of stocking stuffer, or you could do a vegetable steamer. Um, and then I've also made some different salts. These salts have um, ancho, pe uh, ancho pepper and um, smoked paprika with salt, and you can sprinkle that onto meats. Mm -hmm. I've got one for fish. Oh, because fish. like fancy salt is really popular right yeah, now. Yeah, but you can make it yourself, and it's very inexpensive. This is mm -hmm. just kosher, fine kosher salt. Um, and then I've got this mixed in with um, some different herbs of Provence, and peppercorns and then I also did this lemon salt for fish and so this has just lemon zest that I baked in the oven mm -hmm. for about 10 minutes on really low so it dried up and then I crumbled it into the salt. And, and how long will that last? Well I've never actually made this before so I'm gonna watch it and see but they were fully dry so I'm thinking that it's um, probably pretty good. Hey? Yeah it's, it's probably it's pretty not. good but yes. Lemon I'm sure it was. Lemon the zest. lemon zest 
I don't think it's, mm, it was fully dry, so I don't think it's going to go bad, but mm, it smells I'd good. probably use it within oh, the year, that. maybe. Yeah. These are great gift ideas. So that you've done all your shopping right here. Exactly. Teacher, best friend. <laughs> well done. Neighbor. All right, we have and that you? recipe. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. We have the recipe on our website, as we mentioned. If you do uh, have any more nutrition questions, you can also check out Diana's website, eatingforenergy.com, and there's her phone number if you want to give her a call.